What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 17 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us this set of nine data points and asks us to say which of these four statements would be true if a tenth data point of 45 is added to this set. And all of the answer choices have to deal with the mean and the median and comparing uh, what those are going to be like from the original set to after we add the number 45 to it. Now comparing data, especially mean and median, is a big idea in um, how Math 1 does statistics. It's probably not nearly as fun as the other stuff like probability and that kind of thing. Um, but the good news is the calculator can do this stuff very easily and I've done other questions where I've covered how to find mean and median. So I'm gonna make this question in this video actually about how to use the calculator to find this stuff. So here's my calculator. If I want to find that data, I press the stat button and I go to edit. I've actually typed all nine of these numbers into list one already, but you would go ahead and type them one for each row. And now I press stat and calc and I see this option, one variable st stats or one variable statistics. If I press enter, this gives me a whole bunch of stuff and I'll go over what a few of these are. Um, this one, X with the bar over it, that's your mean. That's 8.2 repeating. Uh, this thing, the sigma down here, that's called your standard deviation. We have n, which is the number of data points. And then this five number summary that you might remember from sixth or seventh grade when you made box plots. The minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and the maximum. So let's go ahead and actually record our mean and median because we're going to have to um, get rid of this data in order to find the mean and median of the other set. So my mean x bar, and I'm going to write mean like this from now on in this question, equals 8.2 repeating. My median was 9. So now I need to add the number 45 to the data set. Stat, edit, come all the way down until I find a blank space. Don't go too far as I just did twice. Okay. I add the number 45, press enter, and now it's locked in. I go back to stat, calc, one variable stats, and here's what it gives me. Here's my new mean, 11 and 9 tenths, 11.9. I keep going down until I find my median. My median is still 9. So what happened? Our mean increased, our median stayed the same. And what answer choice matches what we just found in the problem? C. The mean will increase and the median will remain the same. So C is our answer.